Hey, Davey, we just spoke with Adam Eaton, and as he was talking, oh, is this working? <coughs> is it, Kyle, is it working? It, is this, yeah, it's okay. Um, Davey, we just spoke with Adam Eaton, and he talked about, you know, obviously no idea what the future holds, but as you reflect on his, his playing career here with the Nationals, just what did he mean to this organization? Yeah, you know, he's been, a, he's, you know, he, he's one of the reasons why we did what we did last year. Um, he was healthy last year, and you can see what he can do when he's, when he's fully healthy. Uh, he, he's an unbelievable player. He's, he's a spark plug on this team. Um, his teammates mean a lot to him. This organization means a lot to him. So uh, moving forward, you know, we, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. Um, hopefully there's conversations uh, with him. Um, but you know that's that's something that uh, Mike myself uh, uh, have to sit down and decide at the end of the year. But I love him. You know he knows that he knows how I feel about him. Um, he's the guy that gets guys fired up in that dugout, you know, in that clubhouse, you know, every day. So um, it stinks that he had he had to go out like this, you know, with with his finger. Um, but hopefully he gets healthy. Hey, Davey, what went into the decision to send Yadio back to ATS and uh, bring Stevenson up? Yeah, we, we, want, we obviously want to give, uh, with, with the injury of Eaton, we want to give Stevenson a, a chance to play against right-handed pitching. Um, more so than that, uh, I, I want to keep Jake Knoll around. Um, he's been swinging about well. You know, I, don't want to, I want another right-handed bat um, here. Uh, the guy could play multiple positions. Um, so, you know, I want to keep him around. So. Uh, Stevenson will play right field against uh, right-handed pitching. You know, he'll platoon with, with Mike for the rest of this year. And um, I just want to see him get up some at-bats over here. He I mean, he deserves it. He worked really hard. You know, Fredericksburg uh, kept in shape. You know, Stevenson's a, a great guy, a good teammate. Um, was swinging about well down there, so I want to give him an opportunity. And um, what do you think about Yadiel? Uh, what, did you feel like he was overwhelmed? Do you think he's going to be okay? Did you have a talk with him? Yeah, I talked to him today. No, he's going to be fine. Um, I told him it's just hey, it's your first stint. I mean, you, you know, you, you, I know you can hit. I know you can swing the bat. I know you can play. Um, you know, don't don't worry about it. You know, you're going to get your part. You're going to get another opportunity, I'm sure. So just uh, ha hang in there. You never know what happens. You know, even in the next few days, or, or you know, so just stay ready and um, be appreciated. He, he thanked, you know, thanked me for the opportunity, and I I told him that you know that's this is not the last we'll see of you. Believe me. Hey, Davey. Um, Adam, the fact that he hurt his fame and then still wanted to play, how telling is that? Just you okay? Uh, with Adam, the fact that he hurt his fame as a baseball player as a whole. Yeah, I know. He's, uh, man, he's a gamer. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I watched him. I saw him. I, I, I knew, you know, he got, he got hit. Um, I kept an eye on him. And I just, I finally asked him, I said, hey, if we had a guy in second base and you need to throw somebody out, could you do it? And he kind of hesitated. And for me, that was a tall tale, <laughs> excuse me, that he was, he was hurting. So, you know, I, I, I have to be smart, you know, for him, uh, as well as, as well as, as the rest of the guys on his team. You know, I don't, didn't want him to do anything significantly wrong to this finger, um, especially if he had a dive or slide and he banged it up again and make it worse. So I told him, hey, you know, you're going to have to come out, we'll get an x-ray, and then we'll go from there. And um, he did that, and he told me he'd be fine. But when I talked to the trainers, they said he's got to wear a split for some time, you know, get that finger right. So um, the talk, I talked to him yesterday and told him, you know, we're going to have to put you on the IL. We had a great conversation for a while. And uh, he was good with it. And I told you know, he's going to be with us and, and work out to the end of the year and um, get ready for next year. Hey, Dave, you wanted to, you mentioned wanting to have Jake stick around um, for, for a little bit here. What position, like, would you want to see him at? Like, where I know he plays a bunch of places, but where are you interested in maybe? Yeah, he could, I mean, he could play first base. He could play uh, uh, second base late game if, if things. 
<coughs> excuse me, start progressing. He can play left field. He can play right field. He can DH. Um, so, I mean, he could do a, a bunch of different things for us. So, uh, the biggest thing is, like I said, he's, he's had, you know, a couple of good at-bats here. Um, I know he's swinging about well in Fredericksburg. Um, so, I just, want, I just want him to stick around. And, like I said, uh, we we'll use him as a pinch hitter. We can use him as a DH, you know, uh, first base, you know, wherever we need him. But, you know, he's, he's the kind of guy uh, that, I, that I really like because he could do a, a, a lot of different things. Yeah, and so on top of that, so you mentioned you could do a lot of things. Is there ever a time where you want a guy like him maybe focus position-wise in one place, or do you think because he maybe profiles as a really good bench bat that it's valuable for him to keep rotating at a bunch of different yeah, spots? I, I really believe for, for Jake that he's a super U guy and that he, he's valuable playing uh, a multitude of positions. Um, there is a guy that, you know, if, if, if he has to play two or three days in a row and play different positions, he can do that. If he had to play one position for three or four days in a row, he can do that. Right. Um, and I kind of like that. Thank you. All right. Hey, Davey. Um, Sunday's other starter, would that come from someone that's already on the staff, or is there anyone left in Fredericksburg that you would consider for that? No, I think um, we're going we're gonna to stay within – uh, what we have, I mean, that, you know, I haven't decided yet, but that could actually be a bullpen day. You know, we'll see how these other ge games play out. Um, it could be Bramer. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how uh, these first few games play out. Are there, particularly on the pitching staff, are there guys that you uh, still want to see particular things from? Like, does it mean something for you to see Bramer stretched out? Would that go a long way in your evaluation? Are there other guys that you want to see in some different things that you haven't been able to see yet? Oh, I, you know, I, I would like to see Bramer go, you know, uh, get a start you know, and see what, see how he handles that because um, you know, he's done it in the minor leagues uh, and see how, you know, see if we can get, get us through, you know, maybe two times through the order. Um, but, you know, there's, you know, like I said, you know, you know, I, I, like I, I've put these guys in different situations to see how they react because you know, at this point we want to see what we have. Um, McGowan's a guy that comes out that's, you know, has done well. Uh, Finnegan, who's been with us, you know, all year, who uh, has pitched in high leverage situations and has done really well. Um, Barrett came up the other day to, you know, got some big outs and got some ground balls, which, you know, we've asked him to do, you know, and it's pound, pound the strike zone with a sinker and then, and then go to a slider. Um, and he got some big ground balls for us the other day. So uh, that's encouraging, you know. So I, I want to see these guys continue to, to do that and get, get these – get these outs for us and get big outs for us. Um, it, it'll tell, tell us what we have moving forward. And Davey, you know, lineup construction, obviously a seven inning game. Is that why you put Juan Soto in the number two hole? Yeah, him and uh, I bumped, yeah, I bumped uh, Trey up to lead off again and Soto too. Um, you know, with these seven inning games, you gotta try, I wanna try to get those guys up as much as possible. <laughs> 